the rush of our modern life, sometimes we forget to pay attention to the beauty around us. Here at MIT Media Lab, we're investigating new ways to explore the environment by the use of technology. That's why we built Live Object. Live Object is a device which is able to advertise its presence in proximity and stream locally stored media content to the user without the need of internet connection. The motivation behind the Live Objects project was to see whether we could annotate the world, whether indoors or outdoors, with rich media, audio, video, still images, drawings, in a way that's inexpensive, scalable, easy to maintain, and so we developed these small objects which can be placed anywhere, require no fixed infrastructure, and can serve information to mobile or wearable devices. We had an initial indoor deployment of the live object here at the MIT Media Lab. We built 10 prototypes and deployed along all the building. Each live object was associated to a project at the Media Lab, and visitors can have information about the project in the form of a scavenger hunt experience. Tidmarsh Farms is in Plymouth in Massachusetts. It is the combination of two farms, both of which were built as cranberry farms at the turn of the last century. We're restoring this property into a nature sanctuary. Those changes will be very dramatic. So we had a very unique opportunity to use data in very new ways to help inform the public. The challenge of deploying live objects here at Tidmarsh is that not only we don't have internet connection, but also we don't have power supplies. For this purpose, we combine the core technology of live objects together with a rechargeable battery and a solar panel. The battery and the core of the live object were also put together inside a box to be completely waterproof and face the different weather conditions here at Tidmarsh. We built a mobile application on top of our platform so that visitors here in Tidmarsh can get more information about the restoration projects from live objects. Welcome to our large wood pile. Behind me are about 800 trees with the roots attached. Behind us here are about a thousand stumps. And you might ask, what are we doing with these for our restoration project? We are gonna put all of these stumps and logs into the new stream channel and across the bog surface in an effort to jumpstart the physical habitat on site. Right now, there's very little roughness on the site, very few places for critters to hide. All of this effort helps to jumpstart that and give places for critters on the site. <laughs>